my YouTube. It's me, Spell the Cheddar. And here is going to be my review of the Glorious Model O Minus. Um, this wasn't recorded real time because I have a debate camp. So I have re pre recorded a couple of videos to upload during that camp, even though I'm not exactly a big channel, so it doesn't make a big difference. I've gone ahead and done so. There we go. It should be on the correct. Yep, I'm in the correct folder here. Sorry about that. And, um, sorry, it's like super one take, but I don't like, um, scripting out reviews. I can understand scripting out other things, but I don't get it for reviews. Uh, here we have the mouse bungee from Glorious. I'm gonna make a quick video on that. It's not really that great of a recommendation, quite honestly. But anyway, here we're on the Glorious Helios mouse pad. It's a hard surface pad. It's probably the second fastest pad you can get right now. Um, the fastest one doesn't really matter, so I would consider it the fastest, like, actually decent pad you can get. And um, the main ways to speed it up are to get Lexip or Hyperglide skates on your mouse and to use something called Pledge on the surface of the mouse pad. But even on its own, it's insanely fast. When I do my glide test, I barely put any pressure. And even without much, it goes all the way off to the side, right? And the Viper Mini skates are decent, but it's not that fast. Look, if I had my school mini here, it'd be even faster. And, uh, oh yeah, to expect uh, an O minus review, a Decanted Control review, a G640 review, and a school mini review. Those should be coming soon. And I might make a video on why this thing is kind of bad. And maybe an 8700X review. Because you know I'd be repping those. So, on to my opinions on the surface. In, as a hard surface, in terms of the surface itself, especially with the size, it's great. The, um, the thing about how you can like kind of paste it on there, you notice I put it on a hard pad. If, for those of you scared about the implications of that, don't worry. It doesn't leave any residue. If I wanted, I could take it off and on all the time. But I only really do that when I want to play on the decanted control. If I have a pad, I actually put it on top of the Helios and the cloth pad. And don't worry about it creating lint for the pad underneath, because if anything, it keeps the pad underneath super clean. In terms of the surface, like I said, it's insanely fast. It's not one of those fast only pads. Like, if you know about the Goliath is speed, a friend of mine who uses this told me about it. Um, although he doesn't have he doesn't use any other mouse pads except for the decanted control. He told me the Goliath of Speed isn't even that fast, but it has absolutely no stopping power. So that's something you want to avoid. Now the Helios doesn't have much stopping power either, but it's meant for speed. It has significantly more speed than you'd see with the Goliath of Speed. The implications of this during actual gaming, so on Kovacs, tracking scores were insane with this, target switch scores were good with this, and I could still get good click timing, I just had to get used to it. Um, in a future video for click timing, you'll notice um, what I did to improve, because I was getting close to the scores, but for some reason I stopped progressing, was I divided my sense by 3, which took me to like 130 centimeters per 360, and put it on a dirty QCK, and man, that was slow. And right after, I took my skull mini on regular sense on this, and it was crazy fast. I actually had to wait a day before I could, before it went back to normal. Like, not really it's a problem with muscle memory, it's just... Uh, after like training it for a while, my hand was moving a little bit, overshooting a little bit, so I just waited a day and I was fine. And that's about all the good I have to say about the pad. I'd say it's one of the, if not the best pads for aiming out there. I think when it comes to aiming, some of the best pads are like, they're not that comfortable, and not many games require that much skill of aim besides like quite like aim training. I know there are like Fortnite players and Overwatch players that like to do it. But really, the main three games where it makes a big difference are Quake, Overwatch, and Apex, if you already have decent aim. But once you have decent aim, you can get good aim, but it won't necessarily make you better at the game. Which is why I tried to not do too much aim training, because that was a big mistake of mine in the past. But anyway, in terms of aiming, this is one of the best pads out there. I like to say that for this, the Decanted Control, the GSR, even though a lot of people don't agree, and the Rocket Country Ultra, they're really good for, like, mechanical aim, but in terms of comfort, it's just not there. Um, I will say the pad isn't like rough on my arm or anything, I'm fine on that, on that part. But um, the main thing you need to know here is this pad will eat your skates, first of all. Um, I used my EC2A for a while, just because I don't use it much and I have extra skates for it. And uh, it ate those skates up. And uh, the actual surface itself, 
uh, it goes away after like two to three months of decent use. I've heard that Pleasure Eat can also sort of restore the surface, but I don't know the actual like uh, long term effects of it or like the sustainability or consistency. In reality, I think it's more of a short term temporary fix, but it is pretty cheap, so you could get a new one. If you want a long term hard pad, I'd say you should go for the Sky Pad. Even though it's not as fast as this, it's not that big of a difference. But yeah, in general, it's great for aiming. But if you want to put the time in to get good at your game of choice, um, I don't know if this is the best choice for you, especially financially. Because aim doesn't matter as much. I'm going to get a lot of flack from the aim training community that I'm a part of here. But aim isn't as important. That's why you'll notice a lot of great aimers tend to do aim training because it's fun and not to improve at games anymore. And a lot of great players, not all of them, but a lot of them don't focus on their aim as much. Um, but yeah, this was super long, but just what you need to know is a really good temporary pad for hard pads. If you want to know if you like hard pads, try cutting for That's what I did. Um, that's why I decided to get this. It's um, it's it's really good for aiming, really nice. I actually like the feel, although sometimes it doesn't feel as comfortable, but it wears out quickly. So that's it.